fuck, I just want to breathe, bro. I just want to fucking please, just God, give me some time to fucking breathe. That's where everything starts to shatter. You're going to want to give up so many times. There's going to be so many times in your journey of wanting to change your entire fucking life that you're suddenly going to look in the mirror and ask yourself, why the fuck am I doing this? It seems like nothing is going my way. It seems like every time I try, some more shit happens. When the fuck am I ever going to get a break? When the fuck is it actually going to be easy this time? When is it going to be easy for me to finally fucking win? I feel like I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. Here's the truth. Brutal truth. You haven't tried nearly enough as you think you have. You have to your ability. Think about somebody that goes to the gym. Somebody who can deadlift 500 pounds tries very hard. Somebody who can only deadlift 50 pounds also tries very hard. But that's only based on their level. 50 pounds, it's not a lot of weight. 500 pounds is a lot of weight. But to both people, because of where they're at in their journey, both feel like, It's extremely hard to lift that weight, but you got to understand this. What you feel here, lifting 50 pounds of weight to somebody else, it's like, it's not really that bad. So I'm telling you right now from a guy that fucking came from nothing, what you're going through right now, the trials that you're going through now, not that bad. Trust me. I get it. I know, Phil, you don't fucking get it. You've never been in my position. You've never done the shit that I've done. You've never had to go through the exact very fucking thing that I'm going through right now. Look, I get it. You've never done the shit that I've had to go through either. But you don't see me here bitching and moaning about where I was struggling. You you don't see me bitch and moan about how hard it was for me. What you see from me is oh, that was part of my journey. Oh, that was part of my process of growth. I want you to understand one of the biggest fucking things, man. If somebody could have ever taught me this shit, it was to tell me that ego and pride actually exists in life. See, our ego, our pride tells us that we're trying our fucking best. We're doing the best that we could possibly do on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual fucking basis. We've tried for years to win and it's just not fucking working. And our ego says, that's enough. You're doing enough. You're doing fucking great. The reality is, no, that's just the, 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 the weakest version of us, the bitch in us. It's telling us that it's enough, but it's not. Think about it. What you want out of life. You, you got any friends that have that life? You, you got family that's got the life? Who the fuck do you know in your life that has the life, the exact life, that you want. If you're like me, fucking nobody. There's not one person in your life that actually lives it, that has actually inspired you. And if there is that one fucking unicorn in your life, guarantee you don't know what they had to go through unless they were fucking silver spoon fed their success. You don't know what somebody had to go through from hardship, struggling, survival mode to abundance. So you got to understand, whatever the fuck you're going through, it's going to get harder. You're going to want to give up so many fucking times. You're going to look at your day and you're going to be like, God damn, bro. When the fuck is this shit going to be done? I am so fucking tired of not sleeping. I'm so fucking tired of trying and trying and trying and shit still not going my fucking way. I want you to understand you're going to go through that shit. Who knows what that timeline is going to look like, by the way. It's different for you as it is for me. From 10 years old for me until I was about 26, that's 16 fucking years, I didn't understand happiness or joy. All I felt was wrath, literally tattooed on my body for a reason. I didn't even understand that for my whole fucking life, I've been trying to figure out who I am. I've been trying to self-actualize. I've been trying to find my purpose in this fucking world. Otherwise, I was just going to take my life. I want you to understand, I started my personal development journey so fucking young. I had to. That's how I had to survive. 
You might just be starting this year, this month, this week, this day. You might have just started just a couple years ago. But I want you to understand your personal development journey is the very thing that's going to make or break you because this fucking game, it doesn't stop. There's no, there's actually no fucking finish line. Whoever the fuck told you that there's a finish line to this game, the only finish line that you're ever going to have is your fucking death. That's the fucking finish line. Everything between now and then, free game, motherfucker. You're going to have to go through so much shit. You're going to achieve the highest of highs. You're going to experience the greatest shit in your fucking life. And then God is going to test you again. And he's going to say, well, let's see. Let's see if you still deserve it at this point. The universe will start putting shit in your path. And you're going to be like, well, what the fuck? I've been doing everything right. I finally achieved a level. I've been doing everything right. And what the fuck is this? It's going to happen. And you got to understand that that's normal. Because every time you grow, your potential grows. And if your potential is constantly growing, that means that the hardships must continue. The hardships must get harder. The trials must get harder because you have to get stronger because your potential is calling you to get there. And the only way you're ever going to self-actualize to that potential is by being challenged, especially when you don't want to be. On the days where you're like, fuck, if something else pushes me over this goddamn fucking fence, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. It's going to be those days where that fucking trial shows up and you're going to be like, God damn, motherfucker, again. Of course, out of all the fucking times for some shit to go wrong right fucking now, of course. And you're going to get to that point. And God, the universe life is going to ask you, well, what the fuck are you going to do, motherfucker? Are you going to get so pissed that you go back into your shell? That you show yourself how small you are? Or are you actually going to step up this time? Are you actually going to do something this time? Get to the next level again. Prove to yourself you're not some fucking one-hit wonder. You actually got it in you. Are you willing to dig in you to find that motherfucker again? Prove to yourself again, time and time again. Are you willing to do it? Because the times where you want to have that rest, that time where, fuck, I just want to breathe, bro. I just want to fucking please, just God, give me some time to fucking breathe. That's where everything starts to shatter. And during that process, you have to hear the silence. You have to cut out all the bullshit, all the noise. And you need to start fucking listening. Listen for that whisper. The guide. The calling. What's calling to you, motherfucker? You got to realize that there's something bigger than you happening. There's something bigger at stake here. It's not just you. But through you, you're going to be able to find this bigger calling, this bigger fucking purpose. And it fucking sucks because you're going to be the person that has to sacrifice to become who you need to be that the other people in your life need you to be. You think that this game is for you? No, there's something calling to you. That thing that's calling to you is saying, you're going to be a fucking vessel, motherfucker. And through you, we're going to change fucking lives. We're going to have a massive impact and you will be the one to sacrifice. You've been voluntold, motherfucker. We don't get to choose this. If you've been chosen and shit's going to happen, it's going to happen through you. And you can either do one of two things. You can either say, hey, that's not me. That's not my responsibility. I'm a weak motherfucker. And even though like I feel called to do this fucking thing in my life, I'm just going to back the fuck down. That's going to be the biggest fucking regret of your life. You're going to get to the end of your fucking journey in this life. And you're going to look back to this fucking moment where you could fucking just, let's fucking go. Let's get it. And you didn't do it. And you didn't step up. And you didn't do what it took for you to self-actualize. On your fucking deathbed, that's going to be the very thing that you regret the most. Or right now, in the hardest fucking time, right now. You can choose to dig deep. You can choose to ask yourself, well, who the fuck am I? What am I willing to do? How far am I willing to fucking go? How on fucking empty can I keep taking this fucking path right now before I actually break down? How far? How fast can I move? How fast can I decide? How fast can I execute? And every single day it's like that for fucking years it feels like. It might be. You don't know. And all you can do is push. 
And all you can do is believe that this is all for a fucking purpose. Isn't that the purpose? Every single day seeking your purpose? Seeking to see, is this what I'm supposed to be doing with my fucking life? Is this my life's fucking purpose? Isn't that the point? When's the last time you actually felt that in your life? When's the last time you actually felt called, pulled to do something bigger? I bet you it's been a long time. Because I bet you you've been in a goddamn shell this whole time in your life. And for some reason, now you're called to watch this. Now you're called to listen to this. Now you're hearing the calling. But now, all of the fucking bullshit that you've had in your life, all of the bad habits, the self-sabotage, all of the times where you just don't believe in you, right now, they're all going to surface. Because you start hearing that fucking calling, your lower self is calling to you too. Come back, motherfucker. Come back. It's comfortable over here. You don't got to worry about your purpose. You don't got to worry about that. Somebody else can deal with that. You, you're good. You don't have to worry about that shit. Just, just relax. And most of you motherfuckers are going to listen. And you're going to fail yourself. And you're going to lose that purpose because somebody else will take that spot. Somebody else will be the world changer. Somebody else will have that impact that you could have had. That could have been fucking you. But you didn't dig deep enough. You didn't have the courage to look inward. You didn't have courage to look at all your fucking darkness and say, you're mine, motherfucker. You don't own me. I own you, bitch. That's what you got to understand. Everything weak inside of you, you have power over. But if you continue to give it power over you, that's where you lose. So I want you to understand in this game, you better be ready for a fucking fight. This is the fight of your fucking life. And every fucking simpleton out there that thinks... All you do in this world is work a fucking nine to five job and that's all you do until you retire. Do not listen to the sheep of the world. Life is bigger. Everything is bigger than this bullshit that's being fed to you. Just understand in the days where you felt the most alive is because you were actually connected to life. You were connected to a calling. You were connected to a purpose. When's the fucking last time you felt called to something like that? How many more years do you want to go by where you keep playing this fucking victim? This person that thinks that something outside of them is the reason why they fail at life. That they don't have everything that they want in life. How many years has to go by until you're so fucking old that it's too late to fucking do anything about it? How many more days, how many more weeks, how many more months, how many more years? If you're like me, you choose. I'm fucking done now. I choose discomfort now. I choose to live the best life I could live, even if that means I have to suffer in the short term. A little fucking blip in my life. One month, one year, five years. 10 years in comparison to the rest of my life, fuck it. It is what it is. I got to do what I got to do. Because I'm done living this bullshit life that everybody else lives, that everybody bitches and moans about, but does nothing about. Does nothing about it. What the fuck is the point knowing that you got a problem and you do nothing about it? What's the point? You just, you just act hard. You just think you're hard because you recognize that you got a fucking problem, but you're too fucking pussy to do anything about it, to get into a fucking state of action, to actually get fucking mad at your situation, finally wanting to create change and actually executing to create the change. You got to understand out of a hundred people, there's only one, there's always one that will succeed, that will outperform. The 99%. Because the 99% are fat and happy doing fucking nothing with their lives. Not willing to sacrifice. Not understanding what the fuck sacrifice even means. Yet they feel entitled to something. They feel entitled to money. They feel entitled to success. They feel entitled to having a purpose. You earn your purpose, bitch. Understand that. On a daily basis, you have to find it. On a daily basis, you have to earn it. On a daily basis, 
You have to prove it. Now is the time to prove it. You're either going to fucking be a talker for the rest of your fucking life and regret that you never tapped into your purpose or today you're going to embrace the fucking suck and choose discomfort, choose to grow, choose to unlock that purpose that's been lying dormant inside of you. Send it.